Hello everyone, great to have your company on Kalkine TV. I'm James Preston and you're watching The Buzzing Trends, a specially curated show that brings you emerging trends driving the market mo movement and the related stocks. In today's show, we'll take a look at some of the highest dividend paying stocks listed on the ASX. In the first segment of the show, we'll also dive into why dividend stocks are so popular with investors and we'll also take a look at some interesting dividend players on the ASX a little later. Let's jump into why, though, dividend stocks are so popular. Well, they're particularly appealing to risk-averse investors. Investors who seek consistent income and shy away from potential high-risk, high-reward stocks tend to lean towards those offering dividends. Dividends are generally paid, well, paid by well-established mature firms and form part of a passive income for the investors. While companies are not obliged to pay out dividends, Many choose to do so to encourage investment in the company and to retain existing shareholders. Companies, including blue chip stocks, generally pay out regular dividends even during a volatile market scenario, making them a very attractive option for long-term market players who prefer a holding strategy. On that note, let me walk you through the best dividend payers on the ASX based on their annual dividend yield. Well, the first stock on our radar is AGL Energy. A prominent player in the energy space, AGL Energy provides electricity, gas and renewable energy services for both commercial and residential use. In addition to energy services, the company also offers mobile plans and internet services. On the 30th of June 2021, AGL disclosed its intent to demerge. Now, AGL will be known as Acel Energy as part of the proposal and its retail business will become a separate entity called AGL Australia. The integrated essential services provider has been a consistent dividend payer to date. And AGL paid a dividend of 41 cents per share in March and has an annual dividend yield of 11.68%. Moving on to the next stock under the spotlight, Fortescue Metals Group. They're a leading iron ore firm and Fortescue Metals is trading with the ticker code of FMG and has its prime assets based in Western Australia's Pilbara region. Established in 2003, the company has become one of the largest iron ore producers worldwide. It recently announced that Fortescue Future Industries, which is a Fortescue Metals Group subsidiary, met its initial decarbonisation project's target. Taking a look at the numbers, and its shares have fared well over the past month, moving from around $21 on the 21st of June to around $26 on the 26th of June. The mining major has witnessed a significant growth in dividend payouts in the last four periods. Fortescue Metals paid a dividend of $1.47 per share in March and has an annual dividend yield of 9.71%, making it quite an attractive prospect for risk-averse investors. And now it's time for a very short break on the Buzzing Trends Dividend Edition. Stay tuned as we'll take a look at some more high dividend paying stocks on the other side of a very short break on Calkine TV. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. What the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Calkine TV. This is Andy Liu broadcasting from Kalkine Media Studio in Australia and I'll be hosting the new Kalkine Wellness Show. The half hour show will cover topics from how wellness as a concept has become even more significant during COVID to how becoming vegan may improve your health and much more. We are excited to showcase our live streaming show to our audience of millions overseas and in Australia. Tune in to Kalkine TV and join me.
Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Great to have your company on Calkine TV. I'm James Preston and you're watching a special Dividends edition of The Buzzing Trends live from Sydney. Time now to continue shining the spotlight on some of the most attractive dividend paying stocks on the ASX. Cromwell Property Group is a stock you may want to consider adding to your portfolio. A real estate investor, Cromwell has a presence across three continents. The company has three major businesses, wholesale funds management, direct property portfolio, and also retail funds management. On the 22nd, 26th I should say, of July 2021, the fund manager announced the appointment of Mr. Jonathan Callahan as the chief executive officer of the company. Callahan worked with Investor Property Group before the appointment and will assume his new role before the end of 2021. Cromwell's dividend payment has unfortunately for investors fallen in the last couple of periods. On June 24, the company announced a payout of 1.625 cents per share to be paid on the 20th of August. Cromwell Property Group has an annual dividend yield of 8.04%. Moving on now to Australia's biggest rail freight operator, Horizon Holdings, or as investors know it, AZJ. Horizon Holdings is a member of the top 100 companies on the ASX. The company transports over 250 million tonnes of commodities each year, in addition to owning and managing large coal rail networks. Earlier in May, Horizon Holdings signed a three-year collaborative agreement with Orange Sky Australia. As part of the partnership, Horizon will support the national charity founded in 2014. Another consistent dividend payer on the ASX, Horizon Holdings paid a dividend of 14.4 cents per share in March 2021. And the company has an annual dividend yield of 7.26%. All right, well, on that note, it's time to wrap up the buzzing trends. Another Buzzing Trends show coming your way tomorrow and make sure to stay tuned for more market updates, insights and of course the latest news on Calkine TV. This is James signing off for now.